North Korea's supreme leader Kim Jong-un has once again lashed out at the invading wave of K-pop and other South Korean culture, calling it a vicious cancer that is corrupting North Koreans. This isn't the first time Kim Jong-un has ordered his government to curb the South Korean cultural invasion and eliminate any source of South Korean entertainment like K-dramas and K-pop. In December of last year, he instituted a new law that sentenced anyone caught possessing or watching South Korean entertainment to 5, 15 years in a labor camp. Those who were caught speaking, writing, or singing in a South Korean style, could face two years of hard labor while those who were caught smuggling the entertainment could even face a death penalty. Even text messages or conversations with evidence of South Korean accents or references could get someone expelled from the city. Following this new law, Kim Jong-un ordered every city to stamp out any capitalist tendencies that may crop up, as he believed that North Korea would crumble like a damp wall, if it wasn't eliminated. He's called the language in South Korean dramas perverted for having couples call each other appa because women in North Korea are only allowed to call their significant other comrade. Kim Jong-un wasn't always strict like this, once having a concert back in 2018 with a lineup of South Korean pop stars like Red Velvet come perform. But ever since failed diplomatic relations with previous US President Donald Trump, Kim Jong-un has been more cautious and restrictive. These new laws against South Korean entertainment are only the tip of the iceberg, as he continues to regulate even the minutest details from fashion accessories and hair dye.